What's going on, nation? Today we're going to be talking about the six reasons why alcohol destroys muscle growth. Now, I know this isn't something you want to hear, especially during the summer, holidays, or weekends, but if you're spending quality time counting your macros each day to reach your goals, you need to know how alcohol can affect your ability to reach them as well. But just to be clear, guys, I'm not here to ruin your fun or your nightlife and say that you can never have a drink with friends or to relax. I just want to help you make better decisions so instead of getting wasted when you go out, you try to be a bit more conservative while still having a good time. But before we get started, be sure to turn on video notifications so you never miss a new video upload. Follow me on Instagram for more great tips and inspiration. And for some extra exciting news, I recently flew my friend Brian DaCosta here to film his full five-week power building program, which will be live within the next week on MuscularStrength.com. Guys, one of my biggest goals as I continue to grow my business is to work with amazing athletes like Brian and introduce you to all their content and programs by hosting them on my website. So if you haven't joined our community yet, be sure to click the link below to make a profile. And for those of you who are already on the site, version 2.0 of the app is almost done and it will be available for Android and iPhone this time. I know it wasn't available for, for iPhone in the beginning, but it looks sick and version 2.0 is gonna blow you away. And I'm actually really excited for this because we've been working on the new version for over five months now and it has been a complete overhaul and it's sick. You guys are gonna love it. And one more thing guys, I know you all keep asking me about my Cheat and Recover program. So a quick update. I pretty much have all the layouts of the workouts done and I have been testing them to ensure that they're effective but don't take longer than 60 to 90 minutes max to complete. Also, the only reason why it's taking me more time than I thought to get them done is because I really wanted to get Brian's program up first and the new version of the app is going to make following my programs 100% easier as well. So I'm trying to launch them both at the same time. So get pumped nation, it's coming soon. Now back to talking about how getting wasted can affect your muscle growth. <laughs> because remember guys, Knowing how much is too much regarding your ability to build muscle is going to save you a lot of wasted hours at the gym. Reason number one, excessive alcohol consumption lowers your testosterone. When I was in college, I used to get a lot of hate from people at parties because I didn't drink much or sometimes not at all. I would actually carry a water bottle filled with water and tell everybody it was vodka and then I wouldn't let anybody have any and I would pretend I was drunk. It was actually kind of hilarious to me. <laughs> I'd be like, Oh no, it's my turn to take a shot. Oh, it's so gross. And they'd be like, can I have some? I'd be like, no, it's just for me. <laughs> but it had nothing to do with health reasons. I just didn't care for it. But when dudes would tell me, be a man and drink more, I actually had the best response. And I would say, actually, drinking lowers your testosterone level. So technically, each sip is making you less of a man than me. <laughs> so as you can see, I always made lots of friends at bars and parties. <laughs> But seriously guys, we all know how important testosterone is for building muscle and the lower your testosterone, the tougher it's going to be for you to gain muscle. I already have a few videos regarding testosterone and how to increase it naturally, so I won't get into that here, but if you want to check those out, I'll link to them down in the info section below for you. So in a nutshell, the more alcohol you drink, the bigger the drop in your testosterone levels will be. Now having one drink may have little to no effect on your testosterone levels, but consuming as many as three or more can start to have a massive impact on your ability to grow muscle because of the drop in testosterone levels. Believe it or not, three drinks can lead up to a 25% drop in your normal testosterone levels. So that's one quarter of your ability to build muscle out the window. Now I know what you're going to ask, is beer the same as whiskey? Of course not. Every alcoholic beverage is different and your body's reaction to it also depends on your sex and your body weight. Beer, for example, often contains two chemicals that can increase estrogen and therefore decrease testosterone phytoestrogen and prolactin. These chemicals are found in hops and in barley, which are two very common ingredients in many beers. Wine also contains phytoestrogen and even some liquors like bourbon contain these chemicals as well. So if these chemicals can increase your natural levels of estrogen, it should be clear as to why drinking too much can lower your testosterone. It's pretty easy to understand. But women actually have the opposite problem. Excessive alcohol consumption often leads to increased testosterone levels, sometimes even resulting in the loss of female sexual characteristics. 
starting at the picture guys, right? Too much alcohol plays havoc with your body's ability to produce hormones correctly, no matter what your sex is. But what about alcohol use in moderation? Does alcohol lower testosterone if used sparingly? Well, now for the good news. Moderate alcohol consumption is okay 99% of the time. In a study on moderate alcohol use, researchers found that drinking the equivalent of two to three beers a day resulted in a very slight testosterone decreases for men and no changes for women. However, for many people, two to three beers a day wouldn't be considered moderate. Instead, two to three beers a week might be more realistic. If you're only drinking a few beers or glasses of wine a week, for example, just drinking on the weekends, you'll have very little to worry about. However, your testosterone might not drop, but you still are consuming empty calories and you need to take that into consideration with your meal plan. Even two to three drinks a day seems to be acceptable based on the study. It's more of the binge drinking, like five or more drinks in a short period of time, that's the real problem. So, does alcohol lower testosterone? Well, the answer is yes, but if you control your use, you don't have anything to worry about. And now, while this drop won't last forever, it will almost certainly have a negative effect on any training you did around the day of your drinking. For example, if you drink excessively on the weekends, like Friday and Saturday, that would make any workouts you did on Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday pretty much useless. And now I know some of you are going to say, well, I just won't train on those days. Well, even if you're not working out, your body will still struggle to recover optimally and build as much muscle as possible during those rest days due to the lack of testosterone. And now this brings us to reason number two, alcohol inhibits recovery. Imagine this, guys. You smash chest and triceps on a Friday to finish the week off strong, and then you go out that night and drink until you wake up 3 p.m. Saturday with a massive hangover. If this sounds like something you would do or have done in the past, then you should also know that this kind of behavior won't do anything right for your gains. This is because there is a number of different ways that your recovery can suffer after you've been drinking. Sure, you might end up sleeping more, but it may not be the kind of sleep you actually need. I don't know if you know this, but in order to maximize your recovery, you need to have rapid eye movement sleep, also known as REM, or deep sleep, and this is because during REM is when you really hit that slow wave sleep, which is the time your body maximizes its natural production of HGH to help you repair your muscles to get bigger, stronger, and faster. Also, excessive sleep can actually make you feel more tired, which leads to you having less energy to do anything once you wake up, and contrary to popular belief, doing absolutely nothing isn't the best way to recover. Performing some mild activity, such as active recovery, is more beneficial for your muscles when they're trying to recuperate. Excessive alcohol consumption will also lead to a decrease in protein synthesis. Now we all know how important protein synthesis is for muscle growth, and if you don't have protein synthesis firing on all cylinders, then it's going to inevitably slow down your muscle growth potential. This is because reduced protein synthesis is due to the alcohol you drink causing a drop in your testosterone. Like we already discussed guys, as well as making you dehydrated, which we'll talk about next. So reason number three, alcohol makes you dehydrated. Increased alcohol consumption will lead to dehydration, and dehydration will hinder your ability to train as hard as you can. Remember that our muscles are about 75% water, which is why if you don't drink enough water, you often feel small or flat. This is also why that if you do drink a lot of water before you work out, you'll more than likely notice an increase in your pump levels and you'll feel like a monster. But the dehydration factor of alcohol goes far beyond just looking fuller for your workouts. Having or not having enough water in your system can be the difference between being anabolic and catabolic. Obviously, we want to be in an anabolic state to gain muscle and too much alcohol can put a stop to that. It's also important to know that alcohol is a diuretic. When you drink, as many of you will already know, your urination frequency increases. So it should go without saying that the more you go to the bathroom, the more water you're losing. And the major issue here is that if you're drinking all night long and constantly hitting the bathroom, you'll end up with electrolyte imbalances. Now while that might not seem like a big deal, it's important to understand that electrolytes are needed for optimum performance. That is why drinks like Gatorade are so popular in sports like soccer, basketball, and football. Athletes either sip on an electrolyte drink during breaks in a game or they drink a bottle after their games. This is because an electrolyte imbalance means your muscles won't be performing at an optimum level and the same story goes for in the gym. 
You need that proper balance of electrolytes for optimal muscle contractions to get the most muscle breakdown possible for regrowth and a big night of drinking is going to make that very difficult to achieve. Reason 4. Alcohol lacks nutrients and prevents you from properly absorbing vitamins and minerals. We all know that having your macros and calories in order is important for growth, but what often goes unnoticed is how important having your micronutrients or vitamins and minerals in order is as well. So the first problem you run into with too much alcohol is that it doesn't contain any micronutrients and at about 7 calories per gram of alcohol you won't contribute any nutritional value to your calories for the day. In fact, alcohol can actually stop you from absorbing nutrients from other foods. Guys, you have to understand that you need your micronutrients to help with the absorption of your macronutrients. And there's no point in making an effort to get them in if you're just going to waste that effort by preventing their absorption by drinking too much alcohol. For example, some of the more important nutrients which your body may miss out on from too much alcohol consumption include vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin D. Vitamin A helps with cell growth, vitamin C helps with tissue repair, and vitamin D has a pretty big link to keeping your testosterone levels healthy and where they should be. So as you can see guys, each of these vitamins play a significant role in muscle repair and growth and missing out on being able to properly absorb them because of your alcohol intake being too high isn't that great of an idea. Reason number five, alcohol prevents fat burning. So muscle building aside guys, alcohol will prevent your body from burning fat for energy. Now this might seem to relate more to people who are trying to get lean, but the fact that you won't be able to burn fat while looking to build muscle is still going to affect the quality and amount of muscle you can gain. If you're trying to build muscle, even if using methods for lean gains, chances are you've been gaining a bit more fat as well. Remember that losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time only applies to newbies in the gym or if you're on drugs. The majority of you should still be trying to keep your fat levels under control and too much alcohol could mean that instead of being able to burn off some of the fat you're gaining while bulking, you'll actually be storing more of it and therefore gaining even more fat than expected during your bulk and if your testosterone levels are dropping, your bulk won't be all that great anyways. Remember that not only will having more fat make it more difficult to tell how much muscle you're actually building, but the more body fat will also increase your estrogen levels as well, making it even harder to gain muscle. It's like a dirty bomb guys, a mixture of low testosterone levels and higher estrogen levels is the exact kind of mixture you want to avoid when trying to reach your goals. Now if you haven't already noticed, all of the reasons we just discussed are linked in one way or another. It all goes hand in hand and that means if you drink enough that you experience one of these problems for muscle growth, chances are you'll experience another one as well, if not all of them. So you have to ask yourself, if I'm serious about gaining muscle and reaching my goals, should I be going out with the intention of getting hammered a few times a week? Well, if you really are serious and you take into consideration all the negative effects alcohol is going to have on your muscle building endeavors, I'm quite sure you can reconsider your choices. And I also want to add that all this does not mean you can't have an active social life and it certainly doesn't mean you can't drink alcohol at all. Sometimes you'll want to celebrate something special with a drink or two or maybe you'll have a couple of drinks with your friends when you go out on the weekends. And as long as it's all in moderation, that's fine. The real issue occurs when binge drinking becomes a habit or when alcohol is used as a daily tool to help you relax. And this brings us to our final point. Number six, excessive drinking can contribute to prostate cancer. Guys, prostate cancer is no joke and nothing will be able to prepare you for the life-changing situation you will find yourself in if this disease happens to you. Remember that alcoholic beverages, especially beer, wine, and bourbon contain congeners and congeners are substances that have estrogen-like properties that can play a role in the development of cancer. So, these estrogen-like traits in your drink can contribute to the development of prostate cancer by damaging genetic information in your cells and causing inflammation, two classic factors involved in the birth of cancer, even if you're not drinking excessively. But it doesn't end there. For men, ethanol alcohol is a testicular toxin, and we've known for decades that in large doses it reduces testosterone function, sperm count, fertility, it can even damage the testicles. 
In fact, alcoholic men often suffer infertility and abnormally low testosterone levels. At the end of the day, guys, for most people, alcohol is going to be in your life at some point. It's up to you to control the way you deal with it and to make sure it's not going to stop you from building some solid muscle and making those gains. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and will help contribute to saving your gains. Be sure to check the info section down below if you want to see my videos on how to boost testosterone naturally, and I will link to a short article on my website, muscularstrength.com, called Booze and Bodybuilding, which briefly goes over alcohol and its effect on your muscle building potential. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to turn on video notifications so you never miss a new video upload. Keep that alcohol intake under control, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.